We'll start with the Mustard SL53 single salmon size 4. This is the green machine. I've got a fluorescent green tying thread. Start this here. I'm going to go back just a wee ways to there. Trim that off. There are many uh, recipes for this, but this is the one I use. Let's turn the vise to one side. I've got some medium flat, uh, medium oval uh, silver tinsel, which we'll just tack in there, and then we we'll go forward. to there, and then we'll make five or six turns, bring our thread around, catch that in, secure it, turn our vice this way again. We'll just lock that off. Like so. And then we can trim these off. There. And there. And what we want is a little green butt. And I just do this with tying thread. This is a fishing fly. A very effective fly it is. I'll just go over that. I can do one more round on that. Get a nicer even but if you thread is flat. You can even, if you wish to make this pattern a little more robust, you can give that a coat with uh, UV resin if you wish. And I've got three strands of crystal flash which will just lift up around the back like that and we we'll give that a couple of turns just to tack it in and we'll fold those three strands over. We'll bring them all up like that, lock that off and then if you rest your scissors up on the bend of the hook that's all we need for the tail. I've taken a strand of red wool which we'll just tack in there go back like so then we can go forward we help trim that off then before you start wrapping your red wool what we want to do is twist it up so it gets that lovely buggy tight rope effect and then we'll just wind this on like so and then we'll tie that down lock it off come around again like so and we'll remove that carefully forward just to there. I've prepared a brown cock hackle of which I've stripped off a good area at the bottom of the hackle and I want to tie this in 
not there. Let's just have a look here, like that. Like that very tight into the red bull, and then we'll lock that off there, and then we'll bring the hackle up. And we go forward with our tying thread. Now it's important that you have this little bit of stem here to start, a, a stripped stem on the hackle, so we can, uh, when we start winding the palmet hackle, we can control it. So we just go forward to there, and we take our whip finisher, and we just put a stopper in there. And we can remove that thread. Then I've got Dyneema to do the deer hair. And we just go back, attach that, and we'll go back into the hackle. So we'll remove that. Like that. We'll spin our thread anti clockwise so it becomes flat, otherwise, your Dyneema will cut through the deer hair. So what we need now is a little length of masking tape. We fold our hackle back. If we turn our vise upside down, and keep our thread hanging, we want to put that just there along the edge of the thread. And then we'll press it down and pull it together there. This will just keep all the hackle and everything out of the way when we spin the deer hair. So I've cleaned a bunch of green deer hair and we'll put this on. What we want to do is go around once loosely, twice loosely, and then we can push it around the hook shank, tighten, and then we can go through it. Pull everything back. Remember to keep your thread flat when you're doing this because the Dyneema will cut through your hair if you don't. I'll take the next bunch of deer hair. And again, around once, twice, and then we'll tighten up. Let it spin. Go through it. Pull everything back. And another bunch. Don't want to get that other hair involved. Just push that back. Last bunch, tie in right at the front, let it spin, pull it back, and we take our hair packer. You don't want to pack this super tight, otherwise, it will lose its effect. When you fish it, you want it to muddle. And we can come forward. Take our whip finisher. And we'll put one in there. Remove our tying thread, and then it's important that we give this a, a comb in just to free any trapped hairs before we start clipping. That'll do us. Then take my razor blade holder, I want this tight and curved. 
So we'll start here. Turn it around. Take your time with it. A nice cigar shape. Then we can come in and start going down at the back. Carefully remove them all. <laughs> now you can see why that tape is very useful. Just keep on shaving. Look for uneven parts. I think that will do us actually. But then before I remove the tape, I take my lighter. Take my scissors edge. Just remove the soot. Remove the tape. And I'll swap over to a red thread. Like so. Take our hackle. As you go in and round, press the hackle down into the deer hair. This will protect it, keep it in position. Now I can see that I'm coming to an end here, so I'll strip off. A few of these fibres on each side so I get a nice clean hackle stem to tie off. <laughs> I'll come around the front I can tie that off. Hold it back, go over it, take our scissors, trim that off, whip finisher. Remove the tying thread and there's the finished green machine. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.